Strategies for teaching the linguistic competence. Listening. Listening is one important language skill and has to be developed in the early stages of language learning. Learners must be prepared to listen, understand, and answer in an appropriate way, which is essential for effective communication. Before each listening activity, teachers give language support by introducing key words to familiarize students with the listening text. Background knowledge on the topic can be used to provide contextualization and potentially better comprehension. Teachers must provide students with opportunities to listen to a variety of texts. At the initial stages, conversations, short messages, free discussions, interviews, and or role plays are recommended. Then, in later stages, students are exposed to films, TV shows, reports, interviews, documentaries, current affairs, talk shows, radio news, broadcasts, narratives, lectures, and presentations on academic topics including digital literacy for using information technologies. Active listening attitudes in English. It is important that teachers help students to develop and show an appropriate disposition for dealing with ambiguity when listening and interacting. This will help students to experience meaningful and engaging interaction in any social setting. In order to achieve this, the teacher should combine verbal and non-verbal listening techniques. Non-verbal cues. Use body language to show you are listening. Make eye contact with the person with whom you are in dialogue. Verbal. Make affirmations. Ask relevant questions or summarize what the person with whom you are in dialogue has been saying. The approach to this skill in this syllabus implies strategies from discrete listening to global listening. Discrete listening means listening for detail whereas global listening refers to listening for the main idea. Both of them involve different types of listening performances, and they will be shown by level in a rising progression from preschool to the diversified education cycle. Primary school. At this level, teachers continue to reinforce listening comprehension with different listening techniques such as reactive, intensive, and responsive. Reactive listening is merely listening and repeating like a tape recorder. Some performances are repeating songs, chants, and short stories. Intensive listening requires recognizing sounds, stress patterns, intonation patterns to understand meaning. Some performances are identifying specific language sounds or sentence structure in a set of words or phrases. Responsive listening is listening and responding to what is heard. Examples of performances include responding to commands, getting the gist of a text, identifying main ideas and points, clarification or questions. All levels. There is a common core for developing listening skills in all the levels, such as. Listen for the gist. 
Learners listen for the main idea in a text in order to gain a macro perspective. By using visual cues, learners can convey meaning from different texts. Listen for details. Students listen and look out for specific pieces of information, such as key sounds, words or phrases. The use of what, when, where, why and how questions will guide students. Listen selectively. Learners will listen purposefully and specifically to parts of a text according to the purpose of the listening and the task. Teachers will guide students in organizing information using organizational strategies, e.g., classifying, comparing, for better mental retention. Listen to make predictions. Learners will anticipate the intended message. They will listen more purposefully and attentively when they make predictions by using the context of the spoken discourse. The common European framework of reference descriptors will be used to assess students' listening abilities and provide follow-up to their progress. Thank you very much for your attention.